Hey, what's going on guys? It's James Mack. Now I want to welcome you back to the channel right off the top. So as you all know, I recently moved to Miami. I've been loving it so far. The weather, the beaches, the nightlife, it's all amazing. But there's one thing that's been really difficult to deal with, and that's the cost of rent, even for myself. But in 2023, the rent prices have gone through the roof. I mean, for real. These prices are getting higher than New York prices. That's the truth of the matter. You, you New York used to be, and California used to be some of the highest real estate ever. Well, now you got Miami, and it's moving faster and faster and faster. But in my perspective, it's one of the best places to live. So you're gonna choose your battles. Either you're gonna come down here and pay some high rent and enjoy the vacation life every single day, or you're gonna deal with the snow and the bad weather and a bunch of other things in another place. It's getting hard to live in Miami. But if you're this type of person, it's not that hard to live in Miami. So I want you to stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna give you the type of person you need to be to live in Miami. Downtown is affordable, it's coming up. It's a little rough around the edges. I'm telling you right now, it's a little rough around the edges. Still a lot of homeless people, you know, and, and things like that, but they're developing and they're getting it together quick. Now, next is Midtown. Midtown is a nice, you know, area. It's, it's getting up there too when it comes to the prices. So you just wanna know, Midtown is getting expensive as well. One of the best places right now, one of the most effective, cost-effective places right now is probably Wynwood. Now, Wynwood is like a borough in New York with graffiti all over the place. It looks crazy around here. But the prices is, is, is you know, for Miami standards, you know, still you can find a one bedroom, maybe 2,500, something like that. So just keep these things in mind and be ready to deal with that when you move down to Miami. Flooding is a serious thing and it's really making it hard to live in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. And I'm just being honest with you, okay? You want to say, J-Mac, what do you mean flooding is making it hard to live? Anytime you're in a restaurant or you're in a bar or something and it starts raining out here in Miami vigorously for 15 minutes and you come out and your car is completely submerged or halfway submerged underwater, you know how many friends I have or people I know that cars have been totaled just from one storm? How many times can you replace your car? Because it can happen so fast. I've been stuck in stuck in parking garages because we couldn't get out because it was flooded, the street was flooded, so we have to leave the cars and just find alternate ways to get out. So it's getting hard to live in Miami with this flooding. And you know, it might only get worse. You know, they have plans to get it better. So if you're not used to flooding and you have to really be strategic about how you move around in Miami when it comes to raining, watching the weather, knowing that if you're in particular areas and it start raining, your car is liable to be damaged. Break. Spring break is making it hard to live in Miami. You say, why well, how is spring break making it hard to live in Miami? Well let me let me share something with you. This year, spring break, 2023, we had a lot of individuals come down and act the worst from my perspective and from what I heard, the worst that they ever acted in their life. Young teenage kids tore up restaurants, tore up cars, fight clubs in the street, all different type of things. It was crazy. And what that does, that leaves a bad taste in the mouth of people that run these businesses that look forward to spring break to get their money I, you know it was one instance where some young african-american women just destroyed this man's restaurant right and it could have been some racism behind it i don't know i wasn't there but how would you like if 20 kids just destroy your whole restaurant and now the next time you see black people coming to your restaurant you're going to be thinking about that spring break with all the unruliness and these kids and some young adults and even adults, you know, getting shot, shootings. We have to do better, people, because when you look at the demographics and really look at who's doing the violence, that puts us in a position where we have to continuously fight the racism and the bias. People don't want us to come on South Beach. They don't want us in their restaurants. 
They don't want us in their clubs. It's making it hard to live in these different areas when these young kids come down here running off with the bills or, you know, just being disrespectful in general. Lastly, I want to speak on, you know, I said it's getting hard to move to Miami and don't come to Miami unless you're this type of person. Well, check this out. If you're a go-getter, if you're a hustler, if you're a businessman, an entrepreneur, if you're an artist, if you're a mind master, come to Miami. This is the wave. This is the city of the future. If you want to put down roots somewhere in an international city, Miami is that city. If you have multiple streams of income, if you're going to have multiple streams of income, Miami is the city for you. If you want to see beautiful things every day, if you want to exercise all the time, Miami is the city for you. If you want to invest in real estate, Miami is the city for you. You have to be a hustler like New York. You have to have multiple streams of income. You can do this if you want to take advantage of this lifestyle. If not, come and visit, eat good food, and get out of here. Because this is only for the fit. Like, subscribe, and share, all right?